it's Craig with Prolike here and today we're going to talk about DWR and I'm going to cover what it is, how it works, why it's important, how easy it is to compromise and then we'll do some tests on Nick Wax versus Revivex. Um, DWR stands for Durable Water Repellent and it's the treatment that manufacturers put on the outside of the garment or clothing that you're wearing. It's your first line of defense against moisture even if you have a hard shell like I have here, your DWR gives you the bulk of your primary water resistance. Um, and I've uh, put some water on each one of these just so you can see how it's working. We'll give you some uh, close-ups of that. So let's quickly talk about how DWR works. And the way it was explained to me that uh, is the easiest for me to understand is think of it like lots of little fistulas or hairs they're sticking up on the outside or the surface of your fabric. And what those fistulas do is they reduce the surface tension between the water and the uh, face of the fabric. And that's what gives you your kind of quicksilver appearance. It causes the uh, water to bead up and roll around without sticking to the fabric. So why is that important? Well, if you have a soft shell like this one here, since it doesn't have a membrane in there, your DWR, or your durable water repellent, is your only source of water repellency on this jacket. And if it's not there, and you encounter moisture or rain, or wet snow, you're going to get wet. On something like this wrap jacket here, this NeoShell jacket, it has a membrane in there. But if that uh, surface fabric gets wetted out, it's going to... Uh, degradate or compromise the ability of that membrane to effectively transport moisture. DWR can be applied to most any product, even on this uh, wind shirt from Montaigne, we've got a DWR treatment on it so that it provides some uh, primary protection against light rain. Now sometimes you don't want things to be treated with DWR. Here I have a Rab Boreas pullover and this jacket or this pullover does not have any DWR on it because we want it to wick moisture and dry out really rapidly. So if I was to pour some water on this you would see just how rapidly that water was absorbed into the fabric or wicked into the fabric. Um, what that's meant to do is on the underside of the garment it's meant to rapidly pull moisture away from your body to the surface of the pullover. Um, things that really compromise the effectiveness of the DWR coating are dirt and other contaminants. And what I have here are two pieces of identical Cordura. This is 500 engineer Cordura. And I'm just going to uh, put some water on this. Let's see, this would be your left, my right. And this, you can see, has a really good DWR on it still. What I did was uh, take a small piece of paper towel and go to my fireplace and just grab some soot or some ashes out of my fireplace and just kind of rubbed it against this fabric here. Same piece of fabric, it's just that this one is dirty. And you can see that you know, if I mechanically agitate this, this is starting to absorb the water and it's starting to wet out. The reason is, is that uh, dirt or other contaminants, if you recall we talked about how this works is it's fistulas or little hairs, it either plugs up the areas between those, those fistulas creating additional adhesion between the water to the fabric or it causes those fistulas or hairs to bend over. The, the net effect is the product doesn't uh, cause water to beat up like it does once it becomes contaminated like that. And if I were to leave this here for a few more moments, you would see that this is getting wetted out. So it's pretty easy uh, to break down the effectiveness of DWR just by contaminating it with uh, smoke, dirt, you know, ashes from a fireplace, etc. Okay, so when it comes to washing your jacket, uh, oftentimes you'll see next to the DWR a number like 80 slash 20. And what that means is that after 20 washings, 80% of the DWR will remain. That's kind of a, a laboratory based, based measurement. 
and not really meant to say that you can get 20 washings at home and still get 80% of your DWR effectiveness. Okay, so that wraps up the first part of this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to treat your uh, jackets or garments, and we're going to test Revivex versus uh, Nikwax, which are two of the uh, market-leading solutions in the outdoor space, and I'll just give you a head-to-head -head test of that. So stay tuned for that. Until then, thanks for watching.